very good morning everybody this is our next class and here we are discussing we are going to discuss few more ratios in terms of in the context of terms of free so so far we have discussed first now we move on to number two this is called z and this is specially known as gross barter terms of free here actually it is the ratio of physical quantities of exports and import which are exchanged within the countries so here the formula is z is equal to qm over qmax qm is equal to quantity of import and q x is equal to quantity of here generally quantity of exports and quantity of imports and quantity of imports and the quantity of exports these are important values as a input this is the ratio this is called gauss barter terms of trade g next is income terms of trade which is signified by Simple or letter I. It indicates country's ability to import. How much country can import? There's a very important ratio is there, which is I is equal to Px multiplied by Qx over Pm. So Px here the price of export, Qx is the quantity of export and price, and Pm is equal to price of import. So it is very important. It is indicates country's ability to import. How much import can be done by a country? Its capacity, its ability, its economic strength. So this is also very very important. There are since see there are numerous terms of trades are there. In very so many ratios are there. Here I am taking only the important one from the point of view of your syllabus and curriculum as well as your examination. Now, so gross market terms of trade G, and this is I income terms of trade, and here the next one is single factorial terms of trade, which is signified by S. So single factorial terms of trade is signified by S. S is equal to P X over P M. P X over P M and is equal to so one more entry that is an important one. So this zero X means. Productive efficiency in export industry. A country's productive efficiency. How much efficient it is in producing particular exports and products. So this is the efficiency index as a kind of coefficient like thing or particular factor which is involved in it. So single factorial terms of trade. So far, most of the terms of trade we have discussed. So. We should not bother about them. That any individual question can occur in examination or what will happen if we did not know the exact process of calculating them. Don't worry about them. As far as the previous year examinations are concerned, that was not so much questions regarding any numericals. Not a single question was numerical based, but these are the ratios are important point of view, the understanding as well as knowledge. So you should keep in your mind and you should note down that. Don't be scared or don't panicking. Okay, these these things are important from the point of view of your examination. All right, few one more ratio is there, which uh, I think we can. Can we discuss? Uh, here I cannot discuss. Uh, I will discuss in next class. So till then, so bye. Have a good time.